Hey guys, today is Sunday. Well, actually Saturday. But, shh, don't tell anyone. Me and Devin switched this week because I had some problems with my wisdom teeth, but they're all fixed up now, so a-okay. So this week I'm gonna be talking about homophobic family, and uh, I have one of those. I'm sure you guys already know, it sucks, and it's absolutely no fun. Um, now when I did come out, I was not living at home, so I made sure that it didn't blow up in my face in that way and I still had somewhere to sleep at night. Um, it didn't come to that. I guess I might as well just tell you a little bit about my coming out story. Um, I was dating a girl for a while. Hmm. Actually, let's start a little bit earlier than that. Um, I was raised to be very homophobic, so as my brother. You can do anything in the world and you'll be forgiven. But being gay is absolute no. You don't do that. So for me to come out to myself, it was incredibly hard because I had to come to terms with the fact that because of certain religious beliefs that I was guaranteed hell for being gay. Which now I'm, I'm more agnostic so it doesn't really I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, I, I believe in a higher power, and I believe in heaven and hell, but I don't think, uh, obviously, that I'm doing anything so wrong that I will be in hell. Um, I, I don't really, I'm not, I'm not getting into religion right now. <laughs> I don't know why I have this. Oh, uh, yeah. It was very hard for me to come out to myself, and once I did come out to myself, I vowed to never ever come out to my mom or to my family. I had this whole plan of having a double life. I was going to move far away so that I can be as gay as I want and live my life the way I want to, and then I would come home and visit, and it'd be like nothing happened, and it'd be all good. Um, now, I know that there's a little flaw in that because you guys might probably know that, you know, your parents will start asking as you get older, oh, are you seeing anyone? Oh, when are you going to get married? Not in my family. Since I was probably six years old, I've been saying I'm never, ever getting married. So I thought it would work out because they already have that perception of me so they know so that maybe they won't be as pushy and I can keep it a secret forever. And it would work out great. It's like a win-win situation, um, but it didn't work out that way. The fact that it's out there and that they know makes me feel so much better. And it's like a weight lifted off my shoulder. Um, but yeah. So spacey today. What am I doing? At one point I wasn't living at home and I this girl had just broken up with me because I wasn't at, because I wasn't out. And I had to go see my mom the next day uh, for dinner or something. So I went home and uh, I guess my mom could tell that I was really upset and she kind of kept bugging me and bugging me and bugging me and wouldn't let it go. So I just kind of burst out and was like, well, you know what, I'm gay and I, I didn't tell her about the girl, but I just kind of, because it, it was irrelevant, because it was irrelevant um, at that point, because I wasn't with that girl anymore. So I just kind of made it all about the fact that, you know, I, I like girls and it's really hard because <laughs> I was like bawling my eyes out too, um, because like I thought she wasn't gonna love me anymore and that I was gonna get disowned and. <laughs> All those great things. <laughs> she just basically told me that she'll love me no matter what. And that she's going to pray for me. Now at the time I thought, you know, that, that's good, that's good. I got accepted, my mom doesn't hate me, I could be myself, I could be as gay as I want to be. Once I moved back home, I kind of realized that that wasn't the case. That it wasn't that easy. Um, they didn't accept me, that it was just kind of like a temporary 
make me stop crying kind of technique. Um, if I would say something about maybe like uh, an, a gay event that I was going to, I would get things like, almost like they're disgusted, they get this face and they make comments and things like that. And it kept going and going. I remember it was like literally like two days before Pride and I was getting all excited and I was talking about it in the car and my mom said something along the lines of, don't you have something better to do with your time? Like, that's disgusting, it's just a waste of money. And I had just had to draw a line and be like, you know what, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. You have to kind of get to a point where without disrespecting your family, you have to put yourself first and respect yourself. Now, I know it's, it's, it's a lot easier said than done, but there are ways to do it. Um, it doesn't fix the problem, but at least it makes your day-to-day -day life a lot less painful, especially if you live at home and you have to see them all the time. I actually work for my mom as well, so it kind of little things still happen, like uh, I have buttons on my, on my bag that are like, do you know what I mean, like LGBTQ kind of buttons, like allies and stop homophobia and things like that, and um, my mom actually makes me take them off before I go to work because she doesn't want uh, anyone that she works with to know that her daughter is gay. And it hurts. It hurts to hear that from somebody who claims to love you no matter what. Just because I don't shove it in their face as much doesn't mean that I'm not being myself. There's obviously situations that will come up that will seriously suck. Like, for me, I come from a family of just, basically my entire family consists of my mom and my little brother. And my brother's like 18, he's not very little. And just last week we had this huge dinner where we invited my brother and his girlfriend up two years and all her family to come down. It's nice to have big family dinners and have a lot of people um, to call family um, once. And it, and it kind of, and it was, it was a lot of fun, but it kind of made me sad because all I thought about was, oh, I will never get to have that. I will never um, be able to invite the girl that I'm dating over and invite her parents and have a meal. Never have I even gotten close to the relationship that my brother and his girlfriend have. But uh, it's, it's still in the back of your head that you can't have that. Um, and it blows. That's really all I have to say. It blows. All right. I think that's enough out of me. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.